another common type of index is the composite index so composite index is nothing but an index created on two or more than two columns such type of index qualifies for a composite index so one of the best advantage of composite index is that if you create a composite index on the multiple columns less number of rows will be qualified and this will result in the faster execution of the query now let us try to demonstrate this with the help of an example if I fire a query, say select first name from employees where department ID is equal to 50 and salary is equal to 2600. This is the execution plan which is going to generate based on the fact that I have only created index on the department ID. I don't have any index created on the salary column. So looking at the execution plan, it is trying to do an index range scan on the department ID is equal to 50 column. So second is the operation which is performing the index range scan using this emp underscore department underscore ix index and it qualifies for 45 rows so that means in the employees table you have 45 rows with the department id is equal to 50. now you got the 45 rows from those 45 rows oracle will go to each and every row to check whether the salary is equal to 2600 or not if that row is having a salary of 2600 then only the row will be kept else that row will be discarded. So in this case, it has to do 45 scans for the department ID is equal to 50 and then it has to go to each row to check whether the salary is 2600 or not. And this resulted in only one single row. So this means that in order to access one row, I have to do a 45 scans from the employees table for the department ID is equal to 50 and then separately go and check for each row whether the salary is 2600 or not. So this will definitely slow down your query. In order to execute this query much faster, what you can do is create a composite index on the department ID and the salary. So if you create a composite index on department ID comma salary, only one row will be fetched. In this slide, I have created a composite index on the employees table for the department ID comma salary column. Now since the oracle knows the location of department ID is equal to 50 and also the salary is equal to 2600, it will come to know how many of the rows which qualifies for both this condition. Now when I run this same select statement, this is the execution plan which is going to be generated by oracle and you see that it did an index range scan on the emp underscore id underscore cell that is nothing but our composite index which is being created and you can see only one row it is expecting and only one row is the output. So this example clearly tells you that the composite index will help to limit less number of rows as part of the output. The more and more rows you are going to include in the composite index will help you to restrict less number of rows. But yes, the disadvantage is creating too many columns as part of the composite index may slow down your index performance.